owners of the Henry Pratt Company in Aurora have opened their doors today to families, friends, and colleagues still reeling from Friday's workplace shooting. CBS News Mike Puccinelli joins us live now from Aurora with more. Hi, Mike. Hi, and that memorial outside the plant continues to grow here with candles burning around the clock. And many employees did not come back to work today, but those that did didn't come here to do a job, but to remember their fallen colleagues. Workers from the Henry Pratt Company show up for the first time since a longtime employee shot five colleagues to death inside the building. No one was talking on the way into the Aurora plant today, but once inside, they went upstairs for a company meeting to talk about counseling and other services available to the company's more than 140 grief-stricken employees. There will be no work inside the Archer Avenue business today other than the work of trying to heal. Started hearing uh, a whole bunch of booms, like boom, 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 back to back. Um, and then I started seeing uh, police officers flying past me coming in this direction. Stephen Holt was a couple of blocks away from the plant when the shooting broke out. His cousin was working inside. He survived. So this morning, Holt was up early paying his respects to the five men who did not. To me, it means the world to me, uh, you know, especially this is being my hometown, Aurora. Ashley Kartura's uncle was also inside the plant Friday when Gary Martin shot 11 people. In the initial chaos, family members were desperately trying to reach him on his phone without success. Yeah, we were kind of scared because we thought, oh no, no. We were just really scared for him. Then relief came when he picked up. But for five other families, there was no pickup. But also, and it was really hurt that these families lost their loved ones. And Holt says his cousin will likely take some time off to think about the fragility of life because he says he saw Martin in the morning before the shooting. And at that time, he seemed perfectly normal. Everybody saw the guy in the morning. The same exact time everybody comes in. Now, of the five police officers who were shot here, only one remains in the hospital at this hour. At 1 o'clock today, there will be a memorial service at the Water Street Mall at 124. Precisely, there will be a moment of silence to mark the lives lost here. Reporting live in Aurora, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News.